In this video, we'll go over how to construct an isosceles right triangle inscribed in a circle. So first we start by drawing our right triangle. Draw the bottom side of the right triangle first. Next we need a right angle, so we are going to construct a perpendicular line on the segment. So first, draw the point that our right angle will be at. Take the compass tool and take the point of the compass and put it on your point. Next, draw an arc on both sides of the point. Once you've done this, take the point of the compass and put it on your intersection points. Increase the width of the compass so it's at least halfway across the circle. Then we're going to draw an arc above our point. Using the same compass setting, put the point of the compass on the other intersection point. Then you're going to draw an arc that intersects the first arc. This is where we're going to draw our perpendicular line. So take the pencil, start at the point that you drew, and go through that intersection of the two arcs you just drew. These are going to be the legs of our right triangle. So once you have the legs, you can copy the segment length to draw the sides. Take the point of your compass and put it on your original starting point where your right angle is. Then you're going to draw an arc on both legs. Now you have the other vertices of your right triangle. So connect these two intersection points that you just drew. And here we have a right triangle. So let's label it ABC. Now we have to inscribe it inside a circle. Now in a right triangle, the hypotenuse always contains the circumcenter, which is the center of the circumcircle. So to find the circumcenter, we have only have to find the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So to do that, we're going to take the compass and first put the point on one end of the hypotenuse. And then we're going to construct the perpendicular bisector of this segment. So first, draw an arc above the line, and then another arc below the line. Come out here. Then do the same thing on the other end of the hypotenuse. Right. Now, coincidentally, it goes through this point. That won't always happen. But we need to do it on both sides of our hypotenuse. So we have an intersection point here and an intersection point here. Next, take your straight edge and connect these two intersection points. Now the point that this perpendicular bisector intersects a hypotenuse is going to be our circumcenter. So let's draw that point in blue. Okay. Now that we have our circumcenter, we can draw the circumcircle. Take the point of the compass and put it on that circumcenter. Then take the pencil and put it on any vertex of the triangle. It doesn't matter which one. And once you put it on there, you can draw your circle and it should go through all three points on your triangle. And now we have an isosceles right triangle inscribed in a circle.